You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet, and well, G. And well, come. Well, G, well, well, come. <laughs> there, you, there you, Michael May, come. You may come. Uh, well, That's an inside your, joke. Uh, yeah, very inside. <laughs> it's almost too inside. <laughs> Way too inside to start the podcast that, off. That's yeah. absolutely true. Yeah. You want to start over, or? Uh, okay, sure. When, right. When we start the recording, we'll just start over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Welcome. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Yep. Damn it. All right. Take three. Hello, Internet. Come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take four. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm. Gee golly, Internet. <laughs> That's the one. We got it. It's just a little old uh, G. Gee golly podcast about video games. Do you want to do a G rated podcast? Someday. Today? Nope. <laughs> is it because your Today father? Today is not this day, because Dad might pop in yeah. any second. We're waiting My dad for is him. hovering somewhere around and might pop in at any second. It's true. I, I seen it with my own eyes. He was in the driveway. <laughs> I think the moment your mom leaves, he's in here. That's probably true. Yep. Yeah. Uh, welcome to another Tap Talk Podcast. We're two old guys, play old games. Uh, today, courtesy of our of our chaotic withering god, the randomizer. Ooh, I like the withering god, the mm. withering one. Mm, perfect. <laughs> oh man, he's an elder god. He brought us the king of monsters, or king of the monsters, the king of the monsters, king of the monsters, king of the monsters, two, two. Deux. Deux. part de, uh, the full title of the game. Are mm-hmm. you familiar with the full title of the no. game? No. Um, king of the monsters two. Apparently, according to Wikipedia, that's it. But I know that <laughs> I, I know that I know that's not right because I saw the title screen of the game. It's like it's called like the next thing. Mm, okay, the next thing, King of the Monsters two. Because was it was the original was King of the Monsters something you got a lot of points in and Nick Arcade? I have no idea. Was it on Nick Arcade? I want to say that it was. Maybe Rampage was or something. There was a monster type game where you destroyed cities and fought other monsters. Why hasn't Monster Energy Drink cashed in on this and been like, look, SNK, we're kind of a big deal, Mm -hmm. uh, and we would like to bring back King of the Monsters. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you say, you saying that reminds me of uh, beloved uh, hashtag more Miller, Sean Miller, whenever he went to go uh, see Ashley Shake over in Japan, like Shake flew a bunch of, bunch of people out there. Mm -hmm. And Miller got out there, and he was just like, man, I got this bad jet lag. Is there, like, there any, like, monster around or anything like that you guys have from your drink? And she was like, no, man. Monster's, like, not a thing here. Kaiju is. Sorry. No <laughs> kaiju, monster. Kaiju. Only <laughs> kaiju. He said, nope, not a thing. Was, I'll, I'll figure out something we can do for you. Maybe I'll find a Red Bull somewhere. Best kaiju flavor, tentacle grape. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> damn! On fire! Yeah. <laughs> Baja blasted a little early. Uh, as soon as they get like into like a main prefecture street, it's just like monster energy drink everywhere. <laughs> and Sean Miller was like, "Have you even been here, Shake? Have you been lying to us for like ten years? You don't actually live here." He flew a plane the 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 flight prior to Miller's to meet him to Japan. <laughs> it's like a it's like a the monster plane. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's faking the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> so before we dial dial, I'm dial? gonna say I'm gonna say uh delve and dive. So it was dial dial. Let's dive. Let's dial it in. Before we dive. <laughs> uh we got this package over here, man. We got a package. Look at that. It came in. That's a light that's a light boy. Who's that from? <laughs> I see what's oh in. gosh. <clears throat> What's up, Tadpog? I wanted to help you all celebrate a critical milestone in the show's evolution. A critical milestone? Critical milestone. Where there have been countless moments which have contributed to the show's enduring legacy. 
It is always appropriate to call the attention of those spoot truly special ones. We have a legacy? A legacy. Wow. We have a legacy virus. Well, yeah, that's what we're right. That's what I believe the randomizer, in its infinite wisdom, has granted you a new, unique opportunity to uh, explore the underappreciated and inc- incredibly memorable parts of the SNS library and leave your mark on the world. So with that, I wanted you to have something to commemorate your world record-setting run on this classic and provide you with a piece of SNES glory to remind you of the power of your legacy. Always Again, wanted, our legacy. Uh, I like legacy. this. I always wanted to ensure you had something spicy and figured you guys might be into toes, so enjoy. Spicy toes. I believe that is Chris Edler. I know what this is. I know what this is. Yep. we got two of them sitting on the table already. <laughs> So now we got four. Now we got four toes of Satan. We got a lot of toes of Satan. I think we honestly have more than that. I, think, I know we have one more floating around somewhere. I th- yeah, I think we got one more that might have come in from Big Dick Pie Baker Chris Vaughn. Because I gave one to Brandy Jr. and her boyfriend. They have a video of them trying it. Nice. Did they say it was hot? Should we eat? Yes. Should, we, should we go ahead and just do one of these? It's so much better on video, though. Yeah, I agree. So wait, what you're saying is we're going to have to do a Patreon video where we eat four of these. <laughs> this uh, this is yours, Dave. He sent something else? He sent something. This is it's clearly, mine? This is clearly yours. Is it a penis sheath? Is that a you know? It's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> he sent fucking Road Riot four-wheel drive. Uh-huh. One of your favorite games. Who sent this? I think it's Chris Edler. Or is, it's definitely Chris. Maybe it's Chris Vaughn, but it looks like... Check the box. Chris Murray? Maybe it's Chris Murray. Ah, okay. Because I can read the Chris part. Can't so much read the last oh, name, but I maybe see. it's Murray. He maybe I see him. The there. signature. Yep, Chris Murray. Chris Murray. Thank you for this road riot, four wheel drive. I will cherish it mm-hmm. forever. <laughs> the legacy of road riot, four wheel drive. Very will live similar on. To the legacy that we will leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> with like, with like, uh, there's a podcast about podcasts thirty years <laughs> in the future. <laughs> After our untimely deaths, and as our children get older, they want to know who we were, and they try to listen to this and realize they're glad we're dead. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. when Henry's like, Mommy, I'm glad that Dad died. <laughs> well, I mean, New Daddy is much better. New Daddy, new daddy makes more money. <laughs> new Daddy has a car that runs. <laughs> new Daddy has health insurance. <laughs> new Daddy's got all them shits. The old Daddy don't have. All right, Road Riot, four-wheel drive, aptly on the floor already. <laughs> I set it on top of the stack of boxes. It fell off as if it was <laughs> destiny. Hey, but now we have four people. That's a good. That's a good mix for a video. All right, we get a four, four. Four toes of Satan. We need to have that ready for your dad if he comes in. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I agree. Does he like hot stuff? No. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he might do a sliver of a jalapeno on some stuff, but most of the time he's like, whew, whew, God, jalapenos. yeah. So it doesn't run in the family then. Nope. Not a spicy bloodline. Mm-mm. Not yet. Not yet. Jack. Jack's the first. Henry's really um, waned from the spicy stuff. See, Kenna used to do it better when she was much younger. Now it's not so much. Maybe that's just a kid thing. That makes me feel better. Because there was, like, he was like, for a while, Henry was hanging with me. And it was like, oh, my God. Like, do you have, like, a gift? <laughs> Are and- you carnage to my venom? <laughs> right? Yeah, I like, that's a good way of putting that. I like that. But it's very hot in here, and we both have our pineapple juice and Malibu. Mm-hmm. Leftover. I've got my Malibu leftover from Dragon Con. Yeah. Just made it back in from that. <laughs> uh, took a recovery day uh, off from work today, and now I'm drinking. So it's like Perfect. recovery day well spent. Full circle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to, tomorrow morning when I go into work, I'm going to feel exactly like I would have <laughs> if I went in this morning. <laughs> New daddy doesn't have that problem either. <laughs> Oh man, um, um, how was Dragon Con? Maybe a little bit, a little bit about Dragon Con. It was good. Um, I got to see Drew and or Bailey mm-hmm. uh, from Hops and Heroes, which is always delightful. Mm-hmm. Um, I spent a lot of time in the board game room playing. I probably honestly spent at least thirteen hours playing Twilight Imperium, which is like the big board game. Like it's um, Sean McElwain of Super Contra Metroid. Three. Contra, Contra 3, 3 and Super Metroid, the two episodes he He did. was on Super Metroid? I yep. couldn't remember that. Yep. Of Contra 3 and Super Metroid fame, he bought Twilight Imperium there because... Damn. Yeah. He, that's, he dropped some money. That's an expensive-ass game. Yeah, it yeah. is. Uh, I think it's like, a, it's like, I think it's like a 150 bucks or something like that. I think you can get it cheaper on Amazon, but like if you want to... Everything at Con is like MSRP. 
um, yeah. unless they're running a special or something. And what does MSRP stand for? Manufactured suggested retail price. Oh, okay. Yeah, I worked at Office Depot. I, <laughs> 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 I can tell you about MSRP. I can tell you about SK- SKU. Mm. You got a SKU? You want that? Mm, I can yeah. That. Damn. I got all of them shits. I can tell you about SNK. Yeah, yeah. S and K. Man, if I weren't done talking about Dragon Con, that'd be a real yeah, nice gonna, lead. Good segue. You want to save it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, I got to see uh, Bit Brigade again for the nice. second time. I saw them um, last year or earlier this year. I can't remember. New Daddy would definitely remember. <laughs> uh, I saw them with Edge Lord Kyle and Chandra. Uh, sorry, Soul Sister Yarn Sorceress Chandra. Mm-hmm. Need to need to. Give titles and titles are due, and, and rhythm master cute butt Paul Korn. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw Bit Brigade with them in Nashville when they were doing The Legend of Zelda. They played The Legend of Zelda uh, at Dragon Con. They played Mega Man Two. Sweet, yes, yes. Still not the one. Still not the show that I want Castlevania to see. Castlevania is what you want. Yes, to see. Yeah. badly. Like badly, I want to see their Castlevania mm. show. But the Mega Man Two show was like way better than well, The Legend Zelda. of Zelda, which you know. You're more of a Mega Man guy than a Zelda right, guy. Right, right. I think it's that. Mm-hmm. I think that's the reason. But I also think that the game, if you're if you're not familiar with, who, with Bit Brigade, they they're a band that plays um, metal slash rock, hard rock. I guess probably is a better way to put it. Uh, versions of video game soundtracks from retro video games. Uh, and one of their band members, his instrument is the Nintendo Entertainment System. And he plays it while he plays the game, and the band plays whatever music is associated with whatever stage he's on. So they're mm. essentially a live soundtrack. Um, and it, it's a really awesome experience. The Legend of Zelda, I felt like, doesn't really lend itself as well to it because it's a whole lot of like overworld dungeon, overworld. Dungeon, That's you know true. what I mean? Because there true. really aren't that many songs in The Legend of Zelda. They see where Mega Man would be a better show but for Mega that. Man 2. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that was awesome. That was a really, really cool show. Yeah. Uh, and they had it, you know, they had it up on the big screen in one of the ballrooms of Dragon Con. Like is in the, someone in the playing or is it video of someone playing? Oh no, someone's playing it live. Yeah, oh, one of their band sweet. members, like his instrument is the Nintendo Entertainment System mm-hmm. and he, he plays it live. That's the only way I could be in a band. Yeah, no, me too. That's weird. I feel well, like you you can play the saxophone. No, you have I can't. some musical ability. Like not enough to be in a band. Like I feel like out of all the instruments, the Nintendo Entertainment System is probably my strongest. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still not strong enough because that guy is uh, really good. Oh, I bet. Although there was a moment. Look, this was a great show, and this is nothing against Bit Brigade at all. But. There was a moment in the show when he's on Heatman stage and he doesn't take the the disappearing, reappearing blocks. Oh, he just takes um he takes Rush all the way across. Takes Rush all the way across. That's what I would have done too. I would have done that too, but what made it great was I turned around I turned over to my side and Josh and I locked eyes and shook our heads. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Shook our heads no silently. We were disappointed. We wanted to see that, yeah. you know. But he also had like to make up for it. Like there was a lot of flair where it's like he would purposely do small jumps over one ups and not pick them up and stuff like that. Uh, and then like just waste um, robot master abilities just for funsies. Yeah. So it was cool. Sweet. It was a really really good show. Um, I also got to meet some uh, people that I game with online. I know I've talked about that Torchbearer game mm-hmm. on this show before. I got to meet Jen and Ethan. That's very cool. Um, so, yeah, it was really neat to meet them. And uh, other than that, spent most of my time in the board game room. Um, and cold as balls? No, I wish. No, it was it was it was comfortable, but it wasn't yeah super okay. cold because it's not in the it's not in the Hilton anymore. It's not in the Hilton basement. Ah, it's in America's Mart. Oh, okay, because I got a message from somebody on the on Tadpog like. Y'all going to drag on? I was like, Dave is. He'll be in the board game room most all the time. Yeah, you nailed so. it. Uh, yeah, that's exactly where I was. I probably spent, yeah, dude, I probably spent like a total of 20 hours in the board game Sweet. room. Yeah, I just, went to, I, just, I just worked. You worked? Yeah. Yeah, thank God I didn't. <laughs> I got to go back tomorrow, and I am super dreading it. Yeah. I'm all that work you. that I'm piled up. You. Yeah, it's going to suck. Real bad. So while you're listening to this, if you're listening to this when it drops, think about me because I will be miserable in that, in that <laughs> moment. He's miserable right, right now. <laughs> the new daddy probably wouldn't be yeah. miserable because he's independently wealthy. Yeah, he's not working at all. He's just at home fucking mommy. <laughs> <laughs> the bastard. Um, yeah, I didn't really do much. So um, 
You want to talk about King of the Monsters? King of the Monsters 2? 2. We got to be super clear about that, because we have not talked about King of the Monsters yeah. 1 yet. Because I just wonder how similar King of the Monsters is. I am too. Like, the, the game opens with... King of the Monsters 2 opens with, like, a shot of the planet. The year is 1999. They wanted to get in there before Y2K, like, really got its hooks uh, in. Yeah, yeah, um, And it says only three survive. And it's like, three what? And I guess the monsters, because mm-hmm. you only have three monsters you can play as yeah. in this game. So I don't know if King... I don't know anything about King of the Monsters 1. I, I assume there were more monsters in it. Because I remember I had rented... I don't know which one. Um, I'm thinking it was the first one, though. So I was familiar with the concept of this game. Didn't love it as a kid. It was mostly just sort of confusing for me. Uh, but yeah, when you jump in, you get to choose three monsters, which are Atomic Guy. Yeah, Atomic Guy, who's a giant human. Mm-hmm. He kind of looks like a giant Captain America yeah. c- palette swap. It's like the Flash, Dr. Manhattan, Captain yeah. America smushed together. Totally. And I guess he's supposed to be like the... Is he supposed to be like the Ultraman kind of stand-in? Uh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. My that guess. makes sense. He's very Ultramanish. I want to go ahead and get in front of this. I don't really know shit about like giant fighting monsters. Like that's not my mm-hmm. realm of geekdom. Yeah, J- it's Josh's. And I, I, yeah, too bad Josh couldn't make it. I wish that Josh was here because he could really talk about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are the other characters? Cyber Wu. Cyber Wu. Who is a gigantic robotic monkey. Uh, gorilla. 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 I think it's a gorilla. Big old. Big old Mecca Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it should have been. God. I okay. Game was before its time. I heard when I was researching this game that Cyber Wu was in the first game, but I don't think he was robotic. I think that's like a thing that changed in the in the mm, second game. Okay. Um, and then the the other character, uh, Super Geon, mm. is like a Godzilla type. Um, but I hear he looks pretty different than he did in the first game too. And like their reasoning is they mutated. It's like, okay, whatever. Makes sense. Okay. Hang out with Atomic Guy long enough, you're going to fucking mutate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because basically what? It's this, some monstrous aliens are coming over trying to take over Earth. Pretty much. Um, I think the concept of this game is very, very mm-hmm. cool. Um, did you ever play Rampage, like, back in the day? Yes. It, it kind of takes that, like, Rampage where it's like, you're just... Big monsters destroying cities. They kind of and scoring points, and they take that and they're like, "Well, what if we also put a little bit of like a beat 'em up into it, and then a whole lot of fighting slash wrestling?" Because the way like almost every stage works is you start out, you're walking, crushing buildings. You can like pick buildings up and use them as weapons, like really rampage, like kind of cool mm-hmm. stuff. And um, you get attacked by submarines. You get attacked by little things. Sometimes they're mon- Cyclops monsters that fly around. Yep. Uh, sometimes they're humans. Whack-a-mole piranha plants. Right, yeah, little whack-a-mole sarlax. <laughs> and it's like then you get to a- another giant monster, and you fight that giant monster. Which I think it's, it's pretty similar to the first one, but there's none of the, the small side-scrolling level first. It's just... Monster fight, monster Boom, fight, monster, monster fight, fight. fight, which I think I'd probably like better. Do you? Uh, I see. Okay, so the big important part about doing the side scrolling beat 'em up part is like collecting power ups mm-hmm. because power ups are really important in this game. Yep. Um, like you have to. There are okay. So the power ups are the only really the only ones that matter are the big peas that yep. you pick up and your monster that you've chosen is gets more powerful. And like why that's important is because they gain more hit points, so they can take more hits. And you can you can power up twice, uh, and then every time you pick up that P, it uh, refills your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only other important one are the L's, which refill your life, your life bar. Everything else is like out to fuck you. It's like the backwards P yeah. is a power down. It'll strip one a of bomb. your. Yep, there's a bomb. Um, it's it's just a general shit show. Yeah, because this game, I feel like there's a lot this game could have been. It really could have been something cool and unique. I thought they kind of dropped the ball on it. It's a great concept. I, th- I think it really is. Mm-hmm. Where do you think they dropped the ball? One, just Well, the side-scrolling levels, like just a few monsters in a certain pattern for a little bit of time, then you fight the monster. It felt very tacked on. It feels like a bonus level. Yeah. And that's what you said when we were playing it, uh, which I'm really glad you did because I hadn't really thought of that. It does very much feel like mm-hmm. shooting gallery, kind of mm-hmm. like – Destroy all the little enemies to try to get a power up. Like a better, a better side scrolling romp, like through the city to destroy more buildings for points or to save people or save certain parts. Like if you're the big savior, do some more saving other than fight the giant monster. Right. Yeah. 
Um, like, and then the battles just could have been more complex because they were very button mashy. They're button mash versions of Mario Ma, Mario Party games, in my opinion. Because this is you and I playing this was the first time I got that N sixty four palm since the N sixty four days. Because you were playing you had you were playing with a super like I should almost say I had an super Xbox advantage three sixty controller. Yeah, I did have a huge advantage over you, but, which was not my intention. No, 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 no. I'm glad that you did because like you opened my eyes to like oh wow like. Playing this in the arcade, because this is an arcade port. We haven't done the Dave Reads from Wikipedia yet, but this mm. is an arcade port. And it like, makes me think, like, man, this probably was more fun to play in the arcade because mm-hmm. you've got that stick. You know, it was in a Neo Geo cabinet. Yep. So it's like you got the stick. It's a lot easier because the way that it works is when you, um, okay, so when you fight a giant monster, you can punch, you can kick, you can jump. But what's going to happen, like, 80% of the time is mm-hmm. you guys are going to be grappling. Yes. Because it's like if you get near each other, like, it's kind of like you magnetize and you're locked in a grapple. And, like, the way that it works is you have to press left and right on the D-pad rapidly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you do it fast enough, sometimes you you win the grapple mm-hmm. and you will um, either – you'll do one of two moves against the monster depending on what you're – if you're holding Y or X. Mm-hmm. And it's like – those animations are fucking awesome. Like, seriously, I think that's where this game shines, mm-hmm. is, like, it looks really good. Even on the Super Nintendo, I feel like it looks really good, and it's, like, the animations that go into it also look really good. Because it's, like, Atomic Guy, he, like, when he's in a grapple, like, one of his finishers out of the grapple is he irradiates them. And it's, it's like... full Blanca. Yeah, absolutely, full Blanca. And it's, like, when he does that, the enemy's skeleton... Show it's like an X ray, mm-hmm. and it's like they took the time to make a fucking sprite with a skeleton for every monster in the game. It's yep. like, wow, okay, that's I mean, that's some care went into that, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, because I ended up like most of the time it was just because I couldn't get anywhere on single player with this game, and now you nearly beat it. I guess we're gonna read from Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, you want to do that before we totally forget? Yeah, 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 okay, let's do it. Tyler, do you hear that? What is that, Dave? What's that sound, David? It's the sound of it's the sound of. Sometimes mommy and daddy monster wrestle at night. Um, mm. That's the sound of that. Um, and then sometimes... Mommy's mm. getting irradiated. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I, mommy, can, I can see <laughs> mommy's bones. I can see daddy's bones. Mo- <laughs> mommy has one extra bow than usual. <laughs> of course I hear I that. I see your bones a lot, and I count them. Uh, <laughs> she's got one more rib than daddy. <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's true. That's, that's so true. <laughs> of course I hear that. Uh, Mommy and Daddy Monster Wrestling, which ushers in a segment that we like to call Dave Reads from Wikipedia. Okay, guys. King of the Monsters 2 is a fighting slash wrestling game released on May 5th, 1992 by SNK. Uh, probably the most recent SNK game that we've talked about is Art of Fighting, mm-hmm. uh, which was also ported by uh, Takara, uh, who did this port as well, which I think is probably owned by or was owned by SNK is my guess. Uh, it is a sequel to the 1991 game King of the Monsters. In this game, three of the previous game's surviving monsters return and battle across the globe against giant alien monsters that threaten the Earth. The game was later ported to the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis by Takara. Uh, The plot of the game is, which we've touched on a little bit, is three years after the events of the first game, only three monsters have survived what is known in the history books as the King of the Monsters Massacre. Oh. They have become more advanced and dangerous than ever before. But now, in 1999, a powerful alien monster and his wave of minions threaten to conquer the Earth. The surviving monsters must defeat the alien menace. Minions like the minions from Despicable Me. Totally. They are the minions. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is who they've sided with now. Yeah. We need a ROM hack <laughs> where it's like every monster in the game is replaced by it's a, just minion. a minion. You're just fighting giant minions. <laughs> are there different ones? Like, do they have, like, I know they're not all the same minion, but, like, do they, it's, it's like, that one's Frank. I know it because he wears a stethoscope. I've you know, never like, seen Despicable Me or a Minions movie or anything. I know what our next podcast is about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we can call ourselves the Minions, I guess. In right? 24 hours, we consume all minion related media. Oh, I thought, like, that's our next, like, ongoing project. Oh, okay. Where it's like, you know how they're like, Back when we started listening to podcasts, there were like a million Harry Potter podcasts. 
I bet you there's probably only like a handful of Minions podcasts. That's true, probably. We just target, we do Facebook targeting, it's just specifically ants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. The surviving monsters must defeat the alien menace and once again prove who is the king of the monsters. I'm looking at Minions podcast. Are you? I don't see one. Look, dude. I, I mean, we should do it. All right, done. I talked to Nicole on the way on the drive back from Dragon Con. We were all like crammed in the McElwain's SUV. You guys talking about minions? We were talking about minions. <laughs> I was like, which one's your favorite minion? Nicole can't <laughs> shut up about minions, to be honest. Try to stop her. It's impossible. I always tell her that's a really unprofessional shirt to wear to work, Nicole. <laughs> and she's like, Misha, me some of a minion banana. I'm like, Nicole, please. Is that a minion? You're a girl woman with a child. <laughs> Take off that triple XL minion <laughs> shirt right now. Take off those goggles and those overalls. <laughs> you are gonna get fired. Oh shit! You have a Despicable Me tattoo. Put them back on. Put them back on. <laughs> That's grew with Josh's face. <laughs> How many? Someone please Photoshop that and put that in the nation. <laughs> You know way more about this than I do. I'm assuming just through like I went on the Minions ride uh, a few times. Really, at, at Universal a few times, twice. Where, like the first time you were like, God damn, I gotta get back on. That I got these, ride. more of these Nicole's rides. Holy shit, these Minions are delightful. God, they're like giant gun plenties. I can fantasize fucking. <laughs> they're like they're like <laughs> fuck Twinkies. <laughs> All right, come on, that's a little bit redundant. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a lovely concept, Nicole. Just be fucking just really at the ridiculous over minions. Let's try to work it out where we can like make that happen, unbeknownst to her. Like we gotta get Josh in on it. Now I know why you named your baby Minnie. God, <laughs> that's not her name, but it's still. Not. <laughs> we were talking about doing a um, because Unsolved Mysteries has just recently come out on Amazon Prime, ah. and she is like all about some like. Unsolved Mysteries. I was like, let's do an Unsolved Mysteries podcast. Well, I'm going to have to get some, uh, get on DeviantArt for some minions and overcoats like <laughs> Unsolved Mysteries fan art for. That exists. I've definitely seen that on Facebook. <laughs> they just didn't have big old dicks like they're going to have on DeviantArt. Unsolved Ministeries. <laughs> <laughs> the crossover podcast. Yeah, oh, my perfect. God. So, wait. Is it is it 50%? Like, is it, do you the do the- The minions serve every murderer in Unsolved <laughs> Mysteries. <laughs> The, oh man, that would be a great show where it's like all the reenactment reenactments are just like all CG minions. minions. <laughs> or better yet, it's just it's dudes in minions costumes. <laughs> Today we talk uh, about the mass murderer Albert Fish. <laughs> the, the Albert, Albert Fish, Albert Fish minions. The minions. <laughs> Why do all these minions have peanut butter in their butts? <laughs> <laughs> in needles. Oh, <laughs> uh, hmm. You have my favorite episode of Unsolved Mysteries. What? The one where the guy from Paducah fell off a plane. I did not know. Yeah, this. man. I remember like I remember seeing that on TV as a kid and being like, "We're famous. Paducah's on the map." Yeah, there was a guy who like jumped onto the wing of a plane here at Berkeley Regional Airport and then fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Home of the quilt show and that guy who jumped off a plane wing. <laughs> Featured on Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anybody in a plane in King of the Monsters 2 where you can pull this back. Oh, I don't know. But I'm just still like, man, Nicole just dresses the minions just all the time in her house. Josh is really frustrated. We haven't had sex in a year. Okay, wait. But what's what's what's? I'm sorry, I'm not sexually attracted to minions, Nicole. Please. All right. So what's a what's a what's a one more? Put, put it on. She's <laughs> holding out overalls to him. Uh, what's what's more dire? Not having sex for for a long time because someone won't get out of their minions costume, <laughs> or making it work. <laughs> Because if you stick through it long enough, Josh would fuck that minion. <laughs> I mean, I would, you know. Like, He'd probably fuck that minion for a long time, get tired of it, and then yeah. circle back to the minion. Okay. I think that makes more sense. Yeah. Because it's like, look, if sex was cut off for me, except Nick, Nicky, like, <laughs> wears a minion, like, I would get around that. I would get over that. And then, yeah, I do think it'd, it'd probably get old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Minions don't have any curves, as far as I know. Mm-mm. They also don't know. Curves that are goggles. <laughs> they don't know the warmth of a man. 
<laughs> a man's oh, the, touch. Oh, they're gonna. <laughs> Plus, I hated it at first, but now I can't come unless it's a minion. <laughs> that dry cleaning bill's got to be insane. <laughs> you might as well own a laundromat. Oh, no, let's dive into the reality where it becomes Josh's fetish. He can only come to minions. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually Nicole does give it up, but Josh needs a chum. He's into it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. What a rift we what a rift we discovered. <laughs> man, your fantasy relationship is fucked up, Josh and Nicole. <laughs> Hey, I don't want to kink shame. It's true. Look, man. Minions is your thing. If Minions is your thing, then that's your thing. Good for you. Uh, King of the Monsters, King of the Monsters, King of the Monsters. Because ever, yeah, because it's basically, it's a lot of random punching, which you miss a lot. You have to be on the exact same plane as them. It's very easy to be off. It is, but to be fair, I feel like that's totally in the vein of, you know, like Final Fight and like games like that. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I don't think it's like, crazy off and, and i do think that in the game's defense it's when you're playing two player you can hit each other but we didn't know it for a really long time yeah, it was hard to do because it was hard to do and it's like well that's really good because in a lot of games a lot of beat em ups it's like right off the bat it's like fuck i'm dead mm -hmm. you killed me or i killed you <laughs> one or the other i guess i wish there was some more depth because you said this game is exhausting to play it you is were right i was sweating it's exhausting and I was tired my forearms were like throbbing yep. like a minion's hard just, just rod that grapple because <laughs> that grapple happens constantly and it yeah. is a full tilt like all like on mario party trying to like blow up the fucking balloon before everybody else is just imagine playing that mini game 10 times in five minutes like it's exhausting and then you yeah. do the same it's rinse and repeat it, over yes. and over and then the fucking boss gauntlet and then the it's just well and when you get knocked down every time you get oh. knocked down you have to pr rapidly press a like mm -hmm. a la mike tyson's punch out yep. you like have to get up like imagine it's mike tyson's punch out but like little mac is like every three seconds it's like getting uh, yep blasted. everything is a trial yeah everything in absolutely. this game nothing's like fun casual challenging play it's just it's just work. This game felt more like work than anything I've played yeah, in a while. I agree. And I think I think that that was like by design, honestly. I think they like or maybe not by design, but like they looked at the game they made and they were like, this is like a breeze. We got to do something. Also, to make it more challenging like how just make it really clunky. Just make it super, super just clunky. Just make it clunky. I don't know. Have you played a lot of wrestling games from this era? No, I didn't play a single wrestling game until the PlayStation era. Because I'm kind of curious, like, if this is typical yeah. of that genre in this era. If they had mixed in more, what my perception of more wrestling games with more finishing moves and different power-ups and where you could pick up, like, weapons, pick up parts of buildings or cars. They or... do that, but it's not enough. Mm. Like, you can pick up a submarine, you know? Like, if you destroy a submarine, you can oh, pick okay. it up and throw it. You can grab a skyscraper and peel it off and throw okay. it at a dude or hit him with it. But it's like... There needs to be more of that then, because I didn't do that a single time. There, do, there does need to be more of yeah. that. And I feel like most of that happens in the first level. and Because that mm. the first level is, I think it's called American City. American City. <laughs> yes, American City. <laughs> and it's like, that's where you could do all that stuff and then it goes to like french city and you yeah. can't do it as much yeah all you do really is there is just destroy the buildings yeah. there's the arch just the eiffel tower yeah the arc triumph mm -hmm. and the eiffel tower of, has a big power up in it of course mm -hmm. uh then you move to the grand canyon complete with mount rushmore yep yep <laughs> yep, 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 yep of course <laughs> And that's a super short level. Like, that's one where it's like you get in, you take like 10 steps, and then you're fighting the then boss. You're fighting it, yep. Uh, then you go to desert, unnamed desert, but it's obviously in Egypt because they have mm -hmm. two sphinxes. Sphinx eye? Yeah, Sp sphinx sphinxes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look at these two sphinxes. They are so much so, they are so goddamn the same sphinx. <laughs> You ask one if he likes riddles, they both say yes. yes. <laughs> they both say maybe. <laughs> Uh, and then there's a giant pyramid there, Egypt. Uh, and like, what I thought was cool about that level is you're like, up until this point, at the beginning of every level, you're taunted by this giant alien brain who's like, mm -hmm. "Give up! This ain't gonna fucking work for you, monsters." It's, like, <laughs> it's alien time down here. <laughs> uh, and then you finally like, he shows up at the end of the desert, and he's like, "Fuck it! I'm gonna fly into a pyramid." And he does. And when he does, the the pyramid explodes. And now all of a sudden the brain's like in a Mysterio looking helmet on top of a giant uh, vagina scorpion. Yeah, Probably exactly. best way to describe yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the monsters in this game, I'm going to be real with you, I feel like the developers were like, we are terrified of vaginas. <laughs> 
because uh, 90% of our monsters are going to have vertical mouths lined with teeth, and they're going to have one single eye where we've heard the clitoris is. Let's all 30 of you virgins, let's all get in a room, not see women or do anything for six months and crank out this game. Make whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like it was made in a prison. <laughs> all right, now you guys have two options. You can do hard labor or make King of Monsters 2, which would... Which would Oh, don't worry. We have an unlimited supply of hentai that you can watch in your... In You're your... not allowed to touch your penis. Yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed. Yeah, you can't do it. Yeah. Or your neighbors. Yeah. So. No, look, yeah, absolutely. Zero coming. For every drop of cum in this room when we're done in a month, you'll die. Yeah. <laughs> we'll kill all of you. No one no one died because uh, you can tell that they took out their, uh, uh-huh. their phobias <laughs> <laughs> in this game. Uh, then you go even to, the final boss is just like a giant gross mother, the mother of all, of alien all aliens. Kaiju. Because when you kill when you kill it, it turns into ten babies that you mm-hmm. have to kill. Yep. And if you don't kill the babies in, like in time, ten seconds, yeah, you get a, you get the bad ending. It all depends on that whether or not you get a good ending or bad ending. It's the last ten seconds of the game. Mm. And if you don't do it, then you gotta start all over from the beginning. But that's just kind of like that's kind of nineties video games. Yeah. Like I can kind of give it a pass there. The the end monster I want to talk about for mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. because the end monster totally looks like. Have you seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Mm-hmm. You know, like Terry Gilliam's like animated interstitials. Oh, okay. Like it totally looks like the four eyed green like yeah. big blob <laughs> alien. But if it swallowed Mojo from the X Men and Mojo is all of a sudden this monster's tongue. Because that's what it looks like. It's two. It's essentially two monsters crammed into one. Uh, where like one, the yellow one is like looking out with his long neck, and he's got like two his two fists that apparently he's punched through the monster. I don't know. It's fucked up. That's what yep. I'm saying. It's yep. fucked up. Is what you fight. Um, huge Frogger, which is a, a big anthropomorphic frog with a helmet. Kinda. I don't. It, he had like a fish head. Yeah, it looked more like a creature of the Black Lagoon. Yeah, type. or like a Murloc from like yeah. Warcraft or something. Because like for the most part, he's wearing this like cybernetic gear on his face, but like every now and then, like it'll come off, and it's hilarious because it's like the rest of his sprite, like his body is like really like defined and well detailed, but like when that helmet comes off, it's just like a very simplistic looking fish yeah, head. Yeah, a stick figure face yeah. on like it. <laughs> and he opens his mouth and a laser comes out. He's like that guy who tried to retouch that um that picture of Jesus. Of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's totally what it is. Uh it, it's I don't know. And he has instant transmission, which I think is really annoying. Mm-hmm. Because, like, okay, remember earlier we said when every time you try to get up from being knocked down, you got to rapidly press A? Here's something the game thinks is really fun to do. Oh, he just got up? Knock him down again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's pressing A, he's pressing A, he's pressing A. Oh, he almost got up. Yep. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Ain't no even wobble. <laughs> Way easier in two-player mode. Yeah, we had a much easier time. Because, like, first of all, you had that 360 controller, mm. which is, like, fucking god tier as far as grappling mm-hmm. goes. Because you could hit L and R left and right, like, real fucking mm-hmm. fast. But still, you would lose sometimes. Sometimes I would, yeah. And um, I think that it's there's a little random element to that. Because I played the, um, the arcade port for the Switch. It's like eight bucks. I was at Dragon Con. It was like, well, everyone else in the room is asleep, and I got like a, you know. I, I, this... I feel weird jerking off, so I guess I'll play a Switch game. No, I mean, I could just jerk off in the bathroom. No, no, <laughs> it's okay. fine. It's fine. <laughs> or right there. I wouldn't feel weird. I'd make sure everyone's okay with it first. <laughs> uh, Nicole in her Minions costume, because we were totally roomed together. Just watching you. Yeah. Can confirm. I couldn't tell if she was actually asleep or not because those minion eyes do not close ever. Uber, Uber masturbate? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how they talk? Sort of. They I talk think. like Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, I think it's just gibberish. <laughs> they talk like the Sims do. <laughs> Misa want to watch your poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, get out of the bath. <laughs> Nicole just sat to the bathtub in her minion outfit. <laughs> You've really changed. All right. I draw the line at you talking like Jar Jar Binks. About <laughs> watching yeah. me poop. Yeah. You can watch me poop, but you're not going to talk like Jar Jar Binks. This is a mashup that I cannot condone. <laughs> I'm wondering if that cosplay has ever been done. A, a Jar Jar Binks minion. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, uh, what were we talking about? Two player. Um, he'd be a uh, a gunion. 
A gunyan. He's a he's a he's a gun gun. What's his right? He's a gun gun. Yeah, gun gun. So he'd be a gunyan. A gunyan. gunyan. It's like an <laughs> onion. But but the gun. Not the gunyan. <laughs> it's serious news about Jar Jar Binks <laughs> and minions. <laughs> Let's see what is one of the um next monster, Eiffelite. I bet you can't guess what stage he's from. Oh, the okay. Uh-huh. He looks like a man with sores and a beehive on his head. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much it. And like in the arc- it's what almost sort of like what pyramid head might might have been underneath the pyramid, just a mound of head flesh and a weird kind of be- almost like a beehive, but he's got sores and tattered clothes. Yeah, I think that's yeah. probably pretty accurate. In the arcade version, he starts out as a very tiny man. Like, he starts out as, like, a regular size, mm-hmm. like, human. I, and by that, I mean he's probably, like, 20 feet tall. No. Uh, <laughs> and then you hit him, and every time you hit him, he gets bigger until he gets to, like, a your size. Yeah, <laughs> and then the real fight happens. Mm-hmm. And then the real fight is pretty much identical to the mm-hmm. Super Nintendo. I think, honestly, like... The port is very, very well done. Um, they skip a few things. Like there's that SNK's thing is making arcade ports as accessible and easy and like matching as possible. I I really don't honestly I really don't know, but based on like the SNK ports that we've played on the Super mm-hmm. Nintendo, I'd say yeah. I mean like generally I feel like they've all been very close to to the arcade. Um, I mean, because we've done Art of Fighting, we've done Samurai Showdown. Like, I mean, I feel like all of those have been, I mean, very good representations of the arcade versions. Because I watched uh, James and Mike Monday where they play this game. Nice, I love those. And James just talking about it. Like, I'd love to care, uh, cover like more SNK on the nerd, but they're all like at least okay games. There's yeah. Not anything. There's not a lot of content for me to rip into, like on any of SNK's library. I think that this game is probably. One of the worst SNK games that I've played. Yeah. I, I still like it, so like I get what I get what he's saying because it's like I still like it because I really love the concept. Like if it had a different concept, uh, I probably like if this had been like a straight up wrestling game, I would have been fucking been out. awful. Yeah, and unless it had like some charm to it, you know, like if it had like personalities with like you know. Uh, well-drawn sprites and stuff like that, then maybe I'm on board. But it's like, I don't know, you paint it in a veneer of, like, giant goofy monsters, and it's like, okay, this is, like, I can get into this. I can I can try this and enjoy mm-hmm. this. It's just, it is, it's exhausting to play. Like, it is it is exhausting. And they give you four credits uh, to play with, so you essentially have four continues uh, to get through everything, and that's very, that's very difficult. Even when you and I were playing, we, like, we breezed through, because it's much easier with two players because you can flank a monster and just beat the shit out of mm-hmm. them. And you, we were doing a thing where it's like you would grapple with a monster and then like the finisher that you would use out of that would send them flying to me and then I would try to grapple it <laughs> with the D-pad and it's like sometimes that would work. But it was like a much... It was... Honestly, I think it was more fun two-player because... Oh, yeah, much, much. It was... Well, it occasionally was we could trap one just with hitting, just punching back and forth yeah. until they were dead. yeah. Uh, and then, but all that came to a grinding halt when we got to the last monster where it's like, you can't grapple him. Yeah. Like, all forget all the, the game mechanics. makes you basically win by grappling and then at the end, oh, nope, no, can't grapple. Right, exactly. Um, they made a change, I feel like, in the, in the Super Nintendo port because in the arcade port or in the arcade version, when you're, when you're grappling, when you're wrestling, it feels completely random who wins. Like, the, you don't get that little pop-up like you do in the Super Nintendo version where you see the L and R yeah. uh, D, on the D-pad going back and forth. You don't get that. You see them test of might style just swinging, swinging back and forth. Yeah, it, exactly. That's it. And it's like I have no idea if this – if any input I have, I'm I'm putting in has any bearing on what's going to happen. And I looked it up online, and it's like on one of the game facts are just like I don't know, man. Probably random. We don't. I mean, try avoid grappling is what they say mm. uh, uh, for the arcade version. They're just like avoid it. Um, use special moves instead. Uh, which which is even sp- those are still like, I imagine in single player like because I didn't play much single player. I, didn't, I hated it. But because you have to, it takes so long to power those up. It does. Like, you kind of need a second player to distract long enough for some one person to power up, then go use it, stun the enemy, beat down the other person, do it. And they're cool looking. I mean, um, they're they do take a really long time to charge. And the arcade version, they charge faster. Um, and I think it's probably because it's like the grappling in the arcade version sucks so bad, uh. where it's like. And I feel like maybe when they ported it, they were like, okay, we kind of fixed that problem. So yeah. we, we... Now we're going to make it too much about the graphics. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> it seems like, man, it's weird. 
This is how Japanese people sound. Man, that's weird. <laughs> we watched all them kids play video games. They weren't fucking tired at all. Their arms are all tiny still. Man, we're all like, go, go, Godzilla and shit. Yeah, go, go, Godzilla. We want them arms to be fucking big after they're done playing the game. <laughs> Get them kaiju arms, man. Tanaka, what do you think, man? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Boomhauer's son? I don't know. I just want to ejaculate. We've been making this game for 90 days. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Another fucking vagina with teeth? Fine. <laughs> Can I come yet? <laughs> what? Well, then there's um, what's it, the the thing at the Grand Canyon that busts out of Mount Mount Rushmore? The Clawhead. Clawhead, which is a scorpion shrimp type thing. <laughs> only it has heads on the shrimp tail. I don't know, man, but I love how you said shrimp. Shrimp. You said it with like, but a you, little bit my shrimp. It was a little country, but it was also like. There's some venom Shrimp. dripping on that. Shrimp. Shrimp. <laughs> it sounded like when you go to Europe and you hear a car honk for the first time, that's what it sounded like. It's cause, Shrimp. It's because I, I hate former D- NBA player Detlef Shrimp. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. He was on Parks and Rec. He was the guy who oh. they hired to uh, just play basketball in I don't remember that. Entertainment 580 or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Entertainment 580. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh yeah, Sh- shrimp, shrimp, <laughs> shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Uh, you you do fight a double headed oni mm-hmm. with a shrimp tail with, with bland <laughs> two bland faces. I do like the look they when you're grappling. Like I swear those faces like look like they are about to fucking uh, burst. Like they're just uh, like oh not God. not this again. <laughs> And they poison you, which is a mechanic in the game mm-hmm. where, like, if you turn purple, you are poisoned and your control it's scheme. mushroomized and earthbound. Yes, your controls are flipped. Right is now left, up is now down. Mm-hmm. Cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Oh, <laughs> uh, what for that? And you've got the, the undersea whelk. Yeah, the aqua slug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just what, exactly what it sounds like. Whose real name is Isaac. I sack. Was that or it? Sack, sack eyes. eyes. <laughs> Something like that. Sack eyes. Uh, then he can freeze you. Like yeah, if he wins in a grapple. That's true. Which sucks. If he wins in a grapple, he can freeze you. Uh, because like you have to try to break out of the ice. Uh, and if you fail that, you fall down. And then you have to try to stand up. Mm-hmm. And then by then, he's already like all up on you with his like, he's got this like pink ascot kind of thing that he's wearing mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. made out of like gelatin that'll form into a fist like Green Lantern His monstrous style. monstrous Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> <You're> right? <Yes. laughs> we'll see if we can get you with this one. <laughs> Yeah. Man, I would love to watch uh, Hollywood Squares, but it's all fucking monsters from this game. <laughs> Charles Kaiju Nelson. It's just a giant Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> The only thing that could have made this game better is if Charles Barkley would have performed a chaos dunk <laughs> halfway through the game. <laughs> Atomic Man rips off his costume. Oh, shit! It's Charles Barkley! Fuck, dude! This needs a ROM hack where Charles, where Atomic Guy is Charles Barkley. This alien. This alien is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm gonna do my chaos dunk. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this alien. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit, there are 10 babies running around. <laughs> what if he picks up the babies like basketballs? I can't do I can't do 10 cast dunks on these 10 babies. <laughs> this is a terrible situation. Man, I like this. I love this idea. <laughs> he, only has one, he only has one sound clip, but it's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> uh, and then the only boss we haven't talked about is Lavacus. Yep. Lavacus. Lavacus. Who is probably the hardest, like, regular monster. Yeah, I agree. Because he, he he reminded me of uh, what's his name from Chrono Trigger the the skeleton bridge boss Zombor Zombor he yep. kind of reminded me of Zombor because see that. Zombor has that upper torso if Zombor was a Muppet yeah that's why <laughs> <laughs> like a failed Muppet yeah, yeah yeah like built in the lab by like, like an alien Zombor Muppet built yeah. built by like Jim Henson's like arch rival <laughs> Tim Hanson like John, John, yeah <laughs> Tim Hanson. Yeah, it's like a Tim Hudson creation, <laughs> where it's kind of like I don't know what should we do, what should we do? I put a big suction cup on his head. Perfect. Make some blue bones. <laughs> put a trumpet head on the top, and it lives, <laughs> and it lives in lava. The eyes are in between the bones. <laughs> Sir, this one does not have some kind of uh, representation of a vagina on it. Tom, Tim Hansen says. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hansen, I, I, I beg of you. Uh, I, I put the vagina ascot on the sea slug like you asked, but there, I'm telling you there's no vagina on this monster. Our fan base will revolt. 
our production has <laughs> is not allowed to uh, to come, Tim Hansen. I don't. I, uh, we'll make the final boss a truly large vagina. <laughs> No, no. And if you go inside it, you die immediately. <laughs> oh, dude, that fucking like the I didn't. We didn't talk about that. I can't believe it. I'm glad you re- reminded me. That fucking last boss, he uh, will turn red. His tongue will shoot out, and then he'll swallow you. And it's like a one insta yep. insta kill. Yep. There are those weird mini games where you get knocked up like a mile into the air. Knocked and up. At the time, yeah. yeah. I love those weird, weird. I love mini when games. I get knocked up in a weird way. Yeah, the monster gets an option: <laughs> pull out or impregnate, <laughs> <laughs> and it chooses impregnate every time. That was uh, I remember f- for one year we did the uh, for McElwain's birthday the McElwain game, which was as silly as possible, and he had a I let him have a certain number of. McElwain points he could spend to do whatever the fuck he wanted. Mackle points. Mackle points. So he f- he was fighting. He had made a level like forty character. Everyone else played clerics of him because he was the uh, he was like the primary god. And he he was fighting a giant She Hulk and he uppercutted her uppercutted her in the pussy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spend a Mackle point, and she's pregnant. <laughs> it's like all right. It's your birthday. It's your Mackle point. It's your birthday. <laughs> it, today you is knock up She Hulk by punching her in the vagina. <laughs> today is Nikki's birthday, and actually ran a very similar game for her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it was Captain Marvel though, and not She Hulk. Well, good. All right. I'm excited for that. By the way, you're pregnant. Punch. <laughs> I'm excited for that She Hulk TV show. Oh, I didn't know there was I'm gonna, one. Well, I'm going to watch the fuck out of mm. that on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, man. I am keeping my fingers crossed that it is 90% courtroom drama, 10% <sighs> superhero. See, that would be great. Oh, that'd dude. That would be great. Dude. I hope it's like just like the, the... It's like the first season of Harry's Law, only with She-Hulk. <laughs> man, that's a deep cut. God, I, that's still one of the great... Like, seeing something happen in real time instead of hearing about like after the fact... Harry's Law, season one, which I liked. I really did like Harry's Law. It's one yeah. of the. I didn't watch dramas, but man, I really liked that show. Mm-hmm. And the second season then turned into a procedural Boston Law or Boston Legal, whatever kind of show. And it was just like, this is nothing like it was in the first season. This is terrible. You kept all the characters, and now you have this guy playing Thomas Jefferson, the weird lawyer. Like, it did yeah. not work at all. Yeah. I see they tried to savor it by making it like every other show on TV, and it was terrible. <laughs> well, I hope She-Hulk is like ever. Like, I hope it's like SVU, but like <laughs> very meta, where they're like, this is SVU, but we're also going to make fun of like how formulaic SVU is. Like, mm. I really hope that there's like this biting, <laughs> this bitingness to it. Pharmody. Pharmody is the Pharmody. name of the, of the final boss. Pharmody. I don't know. <laughs> is it like a play on Family? I don't know. Family and farts. Like four. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but anyway. you, you kill it to beat the babies, and um, you just murder those infants, and then yeah. you you win. You win. You want the good. You want the good ending, don't you? Then kill those fucking babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a government like. It looks like viruses room. in Doctor Mario. Fucking kill those babies. Yeah, kill them. No, those aren't real babies. Um, what do you think about this game? It's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Well, I feel you, like it could have been better. I would not put it in the top 100. Man, at least let me ask. You stole that Sorry. from me, man. Go ahead. Go you ahead. like? You, I might, hey, I might change my mind. I don't know. You gave me a denial. Sorry. Sorry. I still came, but it wasn't good. Oh, yeah. The I good. Did, the good news is though, if you start, if you start, if, do it again, then I can, I can the, get that elusive second male okay, orgasm. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Do you, uh, let, oh, let me do it casual, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll edit that all that out. Okay. Hey man, do you feel like this? Oh, friend oh, David. Hey, what's up, dude? Do <laughs> hey. you, bro, do you feel mm. like that this game would should be on IGN's top 100 Super Nintendo games? Oh my god, yes. Oh yeah. Fuck. Oh yeah. Mm. Do it, David. Man, things got weird. Let it sexy. G- <laughs> let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that? What? I'm gonna ask you sex questions. Okay. Have you ever done an orgasm den- have you has an orgasm denial ever been performed on you? And do you, you know what that is, right? I mean like right before about to come, just stopping all activity. Hand, all hands off. Everything off. Yeah. And then you still erupt, but it's without any stimulation. No, I don't think so. Supposedly, if you do that mm-hmm. and then start up immediately afterwards and then keep that stimulation going, you get number you get a you get a round two. Oh, you get a second shot. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, we'll try that after we're done. There you go. 
Yeah, we've got a, we've got we've got our agenda. Here are our marching orders. Make same, Tyler come twice. Same, yes, sir. Same time as these. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. I've got I've got like man. It takes it takes old. You don't Dave. have any faith in my hand job abilities. I, I don't. I don't. It takes Dave a long time. <laughs> I've trained myself. I've trained my body. I, I, mm-hmm. I'm good, man. I, I'm just a cinch, I'm just a Old daddy, new daddy, <laughs> new daddy don't fuck like old daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. New daddy yeah. got that new money, yeah. but new daddy got a lot of good shit going for him. Old daddy, old daddy can fuck. <laughs> In the event you you do die, Nikki remarries. This will be a really interesting episode for Henry to get. To. Excellent, Henry. I can't wait. <laughs> Do you think this game belongs on the, the bottom 100 Super Nintendo no, games? No, I don't know. No, I, I think firmly in the middle, probably. I think it's close to the top 100, honestly. Like, it's not there. Top 250? Top top 200, maybe. Okay. We'll go there. Top 150, maybe. I'll be real with you, uh, dude. Like, what are the, like, what are 50 other games that we've played? Well, let the, me play some other games <laughs> first, Dave. <laughs> I mean, Man, I don't, I don't know. I'm saying as of this recording. That car, I'm on this horse, and I can't even see that car that's so far in front of me. <laughs> as of this recording, I feel like this is probably closest to the tier of top 100. Out of all the, all the Nintendo games that we've played, which I need to, we need to make a count over how many we've done so far. I bet we've done 150. Yeah, we've done 150 so for I'd sure. So I put it in the top 150, I we, guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. There. We're done. Good. Excellent. But I I would imagine it falling off for me as we play more. But could be wrong. We'll see. Well, it's like I also feel like we're hitting this after like a long string of shit games. Because it's like... That's true. We have Road Riot, shit. four-wheel drive. We played fucking games that are so bad I can't fucking remember. The Terminator was mm, really Terminator bad. Was really I mean, bad. like, we've played some really, really, really bad games mm-hmm. recently. Um, I mean, honestly, like out of the games we played, Yogi Bear, Yogi Bear, God, I mean, Bandit Splashed, a game so bad I can't remember Mm. the name of it. (laughs) I don't remember either. The first person dog fighting game. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Desert Strike was pretty decent. Yeah. (laughs) Power Rangers was good. (laughs) Power Rangers was good. All right. I'd say Power Rangers is better than, better than this game. Mm -hmm. So this is my second favorite game that we've played <laughs> <laughs> outside of the IGN's Top 100. Yep. Don, do you have any achievements for this game? I do. I didn't stream the game because I was at Dragon Con, mm-hmm. uh, so I came up with a couple on my own. Um, first achievement, monster at the end of this book. <laughs> In order nice. to unlock monster at the end of this book, you need to defeat Farmity and his children. As he's reading them a bedtime story. That's pretty good. Uh, and the second achievement I have is Fallout Boy. And in order to unlock Fallout Boy, beat the game on normal difficulty as Atomic Guy. And if you want to unlock Radioactive Man, you do the same thing, but you do it on hard, hard nice. difficulty. I've got uh, someone set us up the bomb. Nice. And that is you die from picking up a bomb. All right. Yeah. Well, definitely will happen. I have another achievement I just came up with mm-hmm. on the fly called mm-hmm. Hello, Gentlemen. <laughs> and then I don't actually know how you yeah. unlock that one. I just wanted to say it. It's cool. Um, and then I, I this is just completely my conjecture because there is Cyber Woo, which is W O O, which is kind of weird. But just from playing from playing Empires and Puzzles and listening to the Iron Druid series, I know about the Chinese deity Sun Wukong, who is a, um, a incredibly powerful monkey deity. So I feel like not as not can, as powerful. Who, who as funky. can grow? I believe can grow to large sizes. Funky can grow bigger. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know where you're fucking getting at with this shit. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'll we'll have to see. <laughs> who has more followers in China, Funky Kong or Sun Wukong? <laughs> yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I believe it's probably a mistranslation from Cyber Wu. But I could be completely wrong. There. Is that where you uh, impersonate a Chinese deity online? Cyber. <laughs> I just cyber woo. Committed this a cyber woo. <laughs> Which also, whenever you said, um, "Mommy's got one more rib than Daddy," yeah, maybe uh, a little rabbit hole I went down because um, Melissa's with Artsy AJ is watching the Sabrina the Teenage Witch reboot on reimagining Netflix. on Netflix. That trailer looks good. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen. It. I've been. I come in and watch an episode every now and then, but it is, it is really like surprisingly good, yeah. surprisingly dark. Famed Jar Jar Binks minion cosplayer Nicole said it's really good. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And because they were talking about, because I knew I'd heard it uh, before 
Well, it's, I guess it's a spoiler. But uh, I, I do want to watch it. Okay. Is it a big spoiler? No. All right. At, at some point... Um, she turns into Cyber Woo. <laughs> Cyber Woo. Lilith is involved. Okay, cool. And Lilith mentions that she is... She was the first wife of Adam. Right, right. Which I'd heard this before. In the Christian mythology that, that I know about, Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel. That's just it. Right. But in Jewish mythology, right. that's very that's very different. Right. So like Adam and Lilith were made at the same time. Uh, God made them each out of clay instead of one out of the other's rib. Um, but Lilith refused to submit to Adam as not being his equal was cast off. Started a music festival. Started a music thing. festival. Yeah. Um, basically gets with a fallen angel and becomes one of like Satan's lieutenants, which, and then allegedly she might also be the mother of Cain. So the Cain and Abel weren't actually brothers. That's what led Cain to sin. But it's just, it's interesting that Jew, like the Jewish people, who even in Christianity, it's like these, this is the chosen, God's chosen people. Right. But stuff that they are taught in the Torah and part of their mythology, like, does not cross over, and I don't understand why. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know who the who ran the edits. Yeah, you who's, know? who's who's God's editor? Who's, yeah, I don't know. The Dead Sea, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, in like the Book of Judas, and there are other like books that didn't make it to the final cut of the Bible, right. which I don't like. Directors, also, you, like want, you want the director's cut? Why isn't anything biblical that canon. can be? Yeah, it should. Why isn't this not biblically canon? Yeah. I don't know. The, I don't know the answer to that. So. I mean, other than to control people better. That's right. We got a very specific message to tell the people. Fish on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I work know. for a Catholic hospital. No one wants to eat the fish on Friday, <laughs> but damn it, if we don't serve fish on Friday, they're really pissed off. <laughs> I don't know, man. What I do know is that uh, I really wish I was good at Super Geon, but I'm not. Cyber Woo, I mm-hmm. think, is the best character in mm-hmm. the game because he has this like. Really stupid move that is like very also effective. It's also like because it's his head will like spring off of his the body, face extension. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like instead of like a rocket punch, it's kind of like a like a rocket headbutt. Mm-hmm. And in the arcade version, it's even more annoying because it makes this like wimpy ass like boing sound. Like it's like <laughs> this tiny ass spring, and it's like this this sucks really bad. <laughs> but I do think he is the best character because mm-hmm. like I see that. I mean, uh, his grapple is really cool. Like, there's, there are, there's, yeah, pins the damn launches rockets yeah, out of his back. He's holding him, and it's like, do, 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 like four rockets shoot out of his mm-hmm. back. And it's like, that's fucking awesome. He also does this other thing, like an Iron Man move, where like he'll pick him up, like laterally hold him over his mm-hmm. head, and then he'll like fly up off the screen with like foot jets and then make like, them his secretary down. and then get them pregnant. <laughs> right. <laughs> very Iron Man you move. You don't got pepper pots. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get peppered <laughs> with my cyber semen. Don't worry. He's going to make your own gorilla robot suit. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, Super Geons, like, he's got this uh, flame breath Godzilla mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. dragon style that, like, uh, will burn an enemy and they'll fall over. Uh, and then I already talked about Atomic Guy, like, irradiating dudes. And his other one is like a suplex or something. The next Godzilla movie does look pretty good, though. The one that just came out. Yeah, like th- with all the all the monsters. It, like I saw the trailer and I was like, "That actually okay. That looks that actually looks not bad. I'm probably not gonna go see it in theater, but that looks that doesn't look too bad." I think it's out. I'm pretty sure it's out because mm. I've heard it is not. That's that's sad. Not great. Yeah, but the trailer's like because I. I can't remember what movie I saw with Josh, but there was a trailer for that movie. I knew he was going to go see it. Mm-hmm. So after the movie, I was like, so what about that Godzilla movie? You're going to see that? And he's like, yeah. I was like, the trailer looks really good. And if the trailer is not misleading, where it's like just monster fight after fucking monster fight after monster fight, then it's going to be great. Mm-hmm. Those movies always fuck up when they're like, I don't know, man. What, the people? What about the people and their feelings the and their love? love? Story. It's like, dude, no one is fucking watching no, that No, we're shit. making a Godzilla movie about the insurance company that deals with <laughs> all the damage after right. Godzilla comes. Yeah, it's perfect. I don't understand why people don't love it. <laughs> but apparently the... It's like The Office, only it's an insurance company and they clean up after Godzilla. All right, I'm sold, actually. <laughs> actually, you just pitched a really good Disney Plus. Get Disney Plus on the line. <laughs> Hello, it's The Office, but... <laughs> it's set in the Godzilla universe. Only they're a window company instead of a paper company. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> High five. Man, Boom. that's fucking perfect. If that doesn't sell, I don't know what will. Certainly not a Minions podcast. 
Oh, that that's a passion project. That's what that is true. That's what we um, do our our regular jobs to fund funnel money into. <laughs> Got to chase my bliss. What's Dave doing today? Ch- chasing his bliss, mm-hmm. talking about minions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you got any more of them uh, questions? I got some questions for mm-hmm. you, Tyler. I got more than questions. Tyler? Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a beard mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. sums up how you feel about it, what kind of beard would that be? Uh, I guess I would give it a beard made of bees, but they're like radioactive bees. mutant bees. Radioactive mutant bees? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Hurt your face? It hurts it hurt your, your face. Palm. And it could mutate you and hurt your palm. It's physically yeah. harming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, probably will give you cancer. <laughs> <laughs> probably radioactive yeah. bees. Yeah. Next time I go next time I go to the doctor, I think he's gonna be like, Have you been playing King of the Monsters 2 since we last <laughs> talked? Yeah, he got that palm cancer, dog. That's oh, what happened. Fuck, this is dire. Terminal palm cancer. Mario Particus is what we call it. <laughs> Tyler. Yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a pair of glasses, that sums up how you feel mm-hmm. about it. What kind of glasses would it be? I would give it the glasses of Magikoopa in mm. in uh, Mario Party. Mm. Just because uh, it feels like a bunch of mini games, and Magikoopa's there to fuck up your shit. Okay. All right. I like it. I had to think of a Mario character on the fly that had glasses. It's like, ah, uh, Magikoopa. <laughs> Iggy. Iggy. Right? Okay. Iggy would be good, too. All right. Uh, Mario characters wear glasses. That's it. I know there's Dr. <laughs> e. Gads or whatever from the Luigi's Mansion series. Doesn't and... count. Not canon. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't played it, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> what what makes a Mario movie canon? Whether or not well, Dave's played it. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Look it up online. <laughs> what is canon? Mostly Mario Land for Game Boy. <laughs> That's the most canon. <laughs> Tyler, I got some other questions for you. Mm-hmm. How much do you think this game is loose? King of Monsters 2, loose for Super Nintendo. I feel this would be fairly big, but not super common. I feel like I've seen it. I feel like maybe it or the first one was on Nick Arcade. So, 1550 Tyler, actual mm-hmm. retail value of King of Monsters 2, loose for the Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. On average, according to PriceCharting.com, at the time of this recording, is $15.00. And ten cents. You missed it by forties. You missed it by closest, less than half a dollar. It's the closest I've ever been. Maybe. I think it might be the closest you've ever been. Mm, mm. How's it feel to have like that victory just snatched away? Yeah, just like ruining my orgasm. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, baby. I'm coming back around. I'm coming back around. I got other customers to attend to. I'll be right back. <laughs> I, and right, right when you were about to finish, the phone rang. I got startled. <laughs> I'm waiting on a very important call. Mm-hmm. You want to take a guess at how much the game is new? Sixty-five twenty. One $106.66. Aye. Aye. Not worth it. Nope. I think loose, though. I'd, I'd pay 15 loose bucks for bad. this. Even though you and I beat it two-player in an hour. I had to put on weightlifting gloves to finish <laughs> <You're> it. <right? laughs> that is true. And if we were playing it with Super Nintendo controllers, I don't know if we would have made it through. Because mm-hmm. truly, truly, that 360 yep. analog Huge stick. Huge difference. Wow. Yep. Yeah. What a stick. <laughs> Tyler. Yes, Dave. I have more questions for you. Mm, mm. These aren't from, from me, though. Is that okay? That's all right. They're from... Uh, I'll deal with it. I don't know if you ever heard of this uh, Ross Rachel Green guy. Mm. I think I've heard of him. I think he's seen my balls. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's a thing, regular. So that's a large well yeah. to draw from, yeah. but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's one of them. Yeah. He sent in a quiz with 10 Dave-style questions about monsters in video games. Uh, and the title of this quiz, in parentheses, say in most racist Asian accent, close parentheses, Gojira! Perfect. Is that pretty good? Perfect. Could have been more racist. Here, here, let me bridge over the soundboard and turn up the racism. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah, the knob. Oh, shit, it was all the oh, way down. It, yeah. We turned it up. All right, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I already did one. You, yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, answers will be monster names in the game they appeared in, but I only expect one or the other. Mm. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good quiz writing. I like that. Usual rules about games and orders they were played in apply. All right. So we've played these games, and they're in the order in which we played them. What were the rules again? What was the theme? And, uh, answers will be monster names. Monster names. And the game they appeared in. Okay. But we'll accept either answer. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to begin? Yes. First question. This monster is little more than a mouth, 
lives in the desert and is the final resting place of a great bounty hunter. That is the great Sarlacc, mm -hmm. the Sarlacc pit, and Super Return of the Jedi. Sure. Locking it in. It is indeed Sarlacc from Super Star Wars. Like maybe it was in the first game. Can't remember. Mm. Got the Sarlacc, though. Yep. Next question. These twisted monstrosities were once human and are now overprotective guardians. Pokemon from Pokemon. Pokemon. Locking it in. <laughs> once human and now overprotective guardians. The Temple Guardians from Hidden Temple? Legend of the Hidden Temple? Have we done that? No. <laughs> but I feel like they are twisted monstrosities Probably. who were once human. That makes sense. Uh, what were Man. mummies of some sort? Are there mummies in any game we've played? Castlevania. Super Castlevania 4? Sure. All right. I like it. Or just say mummies. Super Castlevania 4. I like this. It's like we get to guess twice. Because mummies sounds like twi now once we're human, now they're twisted. Yeah. Or I guess vampires, but they're not really temple guardians. Mummies. Mummies are, are definitely temple guardians. Yeah. Maybe zombies ate my neighbors? Because that was pretty early mm -hmm. on we played that. Yeah. I feel like Super Castlevania 4 probably came up much later after Super Star Wars. It's true. That's true. Huh. I like when we get to guess twice. But also, it's going to suck when it's wrong. Both it's are wrong. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. These twisted monstrosities were once human and are now overprotective guardians. I think mummies is a really good, really good guess. Okay. I'll say mummies then. Because they're mummies in, yeah, zombies in my neighbor too, right? Yeah. In the totally. Bit. Okay. Mummies. Locking it in. Big Daddy Bioshock series. Oh, okay. Okay. Next question. This giant monster was the owner of one of the biggest corporations in 2050 and is the reason the protagonist begins the game almost dead. Shadowrun? The dragon? dragon. Hey, I Maybe. like that. Yeah, I love that. Let's log it in. Drake, Shadowrun. Okay. Nailed it. Got it. Shadowrun. Next question. Good job. This giant monster was the last boss of this game that wasn't very good and shares their name with part of the game title. Like for me to read it again. Mm -hmm. This giant monster was the last boss of this game that it wasn't very good and shares their name with part of the game title. What is a not very good game that we played after Shadowrun with a giant monster in it who was also the last boss? I have no clue. And its name was also part of the game mm -hmm. title. Rock and roll racing. Locking it in. You bought that rock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I have no idea. Shaq, Shaq, Shaq Fu. Ooh, Shaq Fu. You're th I think you're thinking in the right direction. Yeah, that's way earlier than Shadowrun, though. <sighs> I don't know. I have no idea. Pokemon, logging it Pokemon. in. Pokemon. It is Dark Gaia from The Illusion of Gaia. Mm, that's 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 not a bad game. That's where that threw me because he said that wasn't very good. Oh, I like The Illusion of Gaia. <laughs> So it wasn't very good as a matter of taste. Yeah, I didn't love it. So maybe he was pulling from my from yeah. my negative emotions. All right, Tyler, next question. Mm -hmm. This giant monster fights you with tears of blood. And I'm trying to figure out if that's a Bloody Tears reference to Castlevania. Hmm. Or if it's literally tears, tears of blood. Tears of blood. I'm trying to think if it the blood drops down and turns into like a monster of some sort. Um, or a giant face maybe that cries blood. No way, right? On the Super Nintendo? I mean, I don't think Queen Zeal cries. That's the only giant face boss I can think of. It's a giant monster, so it's probably not Dracula. Unless it's his, like, alternate Last form. form. Yeah. This giant monster fights you with tears of blood. That's not Monster Party, is it? That's not, that's not crazy. I don't know what enemy it would have been or what boss. I have no idea. Uh, the onion ring monster party. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the shrimp tempura. The jumping shrimp tempura. <laughs> Locking it in. The, the dead monster who's, sorry, I'm dead. Oh, man, I don't know how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Ke Kedra from Rogue Legacy. I don't remember I that. I don't remember that I one. played again. It's fucking with me because it's like I'm. I'm oh, I think it's the giant eyeball who blinks and like okay, yeah. it's like acid blood or something like that that comes that's down. Probably right. That's pretty good. That's Oof, a good pull. That was Ross. a tough one. Next question: This alien monster takes you to his home planet to help him clear it of invading monsters from a dark dimension. Is that, is that monster party? <laughs> is that <laughs> Abe's Odyssey? Abe's Odyssey. That's the late. That's the really late. It was one, pretty though. late. This alien monster takes you to his home planet to help him clear it of invading monsters from a dark dimension. 
That is Abe's. That is like the story, right? I think that might be Monster Party too, because Bart comes to get you and takes you <laughs> home to his world. Wait, is it The Simpsons? Bart, Bart versus Bart Space Mutants. Versus Space Mutants. Shit, there are a lot of games that feel like that could be. Alien Monster. Is it maybe uh, out of this world? Because don't you help like a? Don't you help like an I alien? Think you get pulled into like another. But I thought you like help. Don't you help like get an alien oh, friend? Oh, um, Secret of Evermore. No, that's you go through time. It's your Evermore. You think of another? Is there an RPG that you think? Is it scared of Evermore though? Because you're fighting on that space station, and I didn't finish Evermore. I didn't love mm. it. So oh, see, I liked Evermore. It was okay. Yeah, that, it, this is a broad one because I feel like that is kind of a base for several games. <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. We don't really honestly know the plot to a lot of these we've said because mm. that is definitely not the plot in Bart versus the Space Mutants. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you, man. What do you think? Because you got you have more guesses than me. Just I feel like Monster Party was kind of early on. This I alien say, monster. Yeah, an alien. You just more fall in that gate, though. So you're not pulling through to help anybody. Garfield Kart Racing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> man, I don't know. Shit. Um, what do you want to do? It's up to you, man. What's the plot to Super Ghouls and Goblins or Super Ghouls and Ghosts? Because aren't you? It's the same as Ghosts and Goblins. Okay. Prin Prin gets captured. Oh, you go to hell. Yeah, which, I mean, technically could mm. be a dark dimension. I don't think it's super cool and ghosts, though. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. I really don't. Um, so a monster? So, like, what monster are you looking for in that one? Uh, in, in which one? The question, like, it's more asking the, for the game, less not really the monster. It's either, or he'll accept either. I'm, I'm trying to say, what, what would the monster answer, answer be? Because I'm trying to think of the game. What would the monster answer be? Abe. From Abe's Odyssey. We'll see what Abe's Odyssey. <laughs> but I know that's I know that was late, but it's not really as late as you might think, because that was like three years ago. Four, that's true. four years ago. That's I think true. it was before Henry was born. That's true. Katawa Shujo. Katawa Shujo, <laughs> lock it in. It is Abe's Odyssey. No, man. No. You said it though. Bert. Bert from Monster, Monster Party? Party. God. <laughs> Cause I thought Monster Party was too er- earlier than that. Yeah, I did too. Damn it, Ross. Oh. Just because I had Monster Party for the one before, maybe you don't want to say Monster Party Damn again. It. You got us. It's like that episode of Wings where Lloyd keeps saying, uh, <laughs> oh, what's the, that one dancer he keeps saying, every everyone, I know one of the cards has this. Uh, I haven't seen it, I'm and sorry. And something. I'm not as sharp on my Wings trivia yeah. as I should be. <laughs> How, okay, idea for a restaurant. This is a build on to Dave's Style Chicken. Mm-hmm. Chicken Wing Restaurant, it's all Wings television show themed. I like it a lot. It's wings. I like it. Perfect. I want to do it. All right. Next question. This monster is the last boss in a side-scrolling slash simulation game. So that's, I would, Act Razor? Okay. Side-scrolling slash simulation game? Yeah, because right? you are you do build and it's side-scrolling. Yeah, Act Razor. That's Who's, good. Do you know the name of the monster? I don't know. Satan. Any of them. <laughs> Satan? Logging it in. Satan. It is Tanzra. From Act Razor. Okay. We got it. We got one. We're back on the nice. track, baby. Next question. This giant monster is usually your enemy, but you join forces to conquer a common foe in this isometric game. Mario RPG, Bowser. Hey, mm. nice, dude. I was about to say, uh, up until isometric, I was like, Magus, Chrono Trigger. Uh, yeah. All right, logging it in. It is Bowser, Super Mario RPG. Well done, Tyler. Next question. This giant monster gained a robotic form in this sequel. In the fight, I was about to say, is this like Cyberwoo? King, King of the Monsters 2, <laughs> Cyberwoo. <laughs> Cyberwoo. Lock it in. Final answer. Uh, in the fight, a tiny friend you rescue at the start of the game assists you. Is that Earthbound? But Buzzwood doesn't come back, though. No. Oh, tiny friend. Tiny friend. This giant monster gained a robotic form in this sequel. In the fight, a tiny friend you rescue at the start of the game assists you. This would have been after Act Razor. After Mario RPG, that yeah. was that's top ten. Yeah. So maybe it's not a Super Nintendo game. Maybe we should yeah. get Might out be of that 64 box. 64 game. Or an other shit Monday. Could be anything. Huh. That wasn't the tube or the circle. What was um Cave Story? That's or it's Ooh. Er- Cave Story is earlier than Mario RPG, though. I know that for a fact. Mm. This giant monster gained a robotic form in this sequel. Maybe that's what we should start. We maybe we should focus on that. A giant monster who gained a robotic form in a sequel. Sonic 2? Sonic CD? I don't think we <laughs> talked about that one. We haven't. 
Shit, I don't know. A giant robot monster. Mm-hmm. What games have giant robot monsters in them? Probably like no, probably like really not many. Yeah, past Mario RPG. <sighs> I don't know. I don't either. Fantasy Star Two, but maybe. But like, what? Sure. Who did you rescue? Fantasy Star Four. <sighs> Katawashi Joe. Katawashi Joe. <laughs> Locking it in. Uh, Neko Para locked it in. Final <laughs> answer. It is Mother Brain Super Metroid. That would be after Mario RPG. Last question. This neither one of us is really since we played Super Metroid. No, I feel like that's that's my whole where people like love that game and I still like have not. No, I'm the same, dude. It's like Super Metroid is like I've been meaning to go back and give it another go, but after playing Metroid. For this, trying to play Metroid for the second time, mm-hmm. I feel like maybe now it's time to play Super Metroid. It's just, dude, it doesn't. That Castlevania, that that Metroidvania, that Castlevania element is so like important to me mm-hmm. in regards where it's like we talked about this in our Patreon episode for um, Ritual of the Night. It's really important for me to have like variety of weapons. And it's like a huge, huge variety of weapons. Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck, I don't care if I'm not going to use 200 of these. You know, mm-hmm. like, I don't, it, 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 if there's 10, I still feel like that's more than what you're doing in, in Metroid. Yeah. I, I feel like in Metroid, it's less fighting and more avoiding enemies. But I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? Last question mm-hmm. This giant monster is shit. This giant monster is shit. It's probably not the Golgothan because we haven't played Dogma. Oh, Conquer's Bad for a Day. Whoa, what's the name of it? Like King Poo or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I think so. King Poo and Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Logging it in. The great mighty Poo from Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Count it. That's it. All right. That's all. That's a rough quiz. one. That was a good quiz. Thank you, Ross. Good balance, Ross. Man, get into those N64 questions. I know, right? That's our, that's our dark era. Yeah, those are the dark times for sure. But that's okay. Now it's our new dark. Now it's our new dark era. <laughs> Thanks, randomizer. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. This is actually a whole lot more fun mm-hmm. than the N64 mm-hmm. was. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, we should probably. I want to get to that. My favorite part of the favorite part of the podcast. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loop up my no no hole, point in yeah. random direction. All right. Say my prayer to you the ready? randomizer. Let's do it. No whammies. No whammies. Stop. All right, I removed my hands. Yeah, yep, I can see Tyler has orgasm. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> Perfect. Next game from the randomizer mm-hmm. came down from the heavens. Mm-hmm. Came up from the, came straight laterally from purgatory. <laughs> Six seventy one. Mm-hmm. It's kind of near the end. That's late there. Six seventy one. Yeah, that is, huh? What letter do you think we're in? Six seventy one. W's. Very close. We're in the V's. Ooh, that the can't V's. be good. <laughs> we, next week, we'll be talking about Vegas Stakes. <laughs> Vegas Stakes. <laughs> Vegas oh, Stakes. God, yeah. Vegas that's gonna Stakes. Be, that's going to be fun to stream. <laughs> All right. Dave, do you have any achievements? I do. Vegas, baby. Let's, you want to just go ahead and do the whole... Okay. You want to do the yeah, show yeah. right now? No, Played some cards. Uh, yeah. Threw some dice. Yeah. Blackjack's in it. Lost. Mm-hmm. Hard every time, every game. Yeah. Played some craps. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Slot machines. Yeah, did those. Uh-huh. Vegas, baby, is my achievement. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. There you go. All right. So do you <laughs> Ring-a-ding-ding, wanna... <laughs> ding, baby. <laughs> do you want to do uh, what we're going to actually play then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the title of this episode will be King of Monsters 2 slash Vegas yeah. Stakes. <laughs> <laughs> like peanut butter and jelly. Uh, all right. So here's, here's what I propose we do. Um, I, fuck, I don't know if I can actually do this, but if we record this on a weekend, we, like I can just get fucking wasted and we can just talk about whatever we want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. That's something this, old daddy can do. This game will take like an hour to go through, I'm yeah, sure. Who knows? I don't know. I've never played it. Could be wrong. This could be our favorite game of all time. Could be. We could be like, fuck Chrono Trigger, fuck Earthbound, could fuck be. Final Fantasy VI, man, fuck, man, fuck all of it. Vegas Stakes. I'd never maybe. have sex again if I could only play Vegas Stakes one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's about grilling. Pussy food? No, Vegas steaks, baby. <laughs> it's about grilling steaks. Oh, you run a restaurant be pretty good. in Vegas, and you make steaks the King all of the day. Hill Steak Simulator. Oh, yeah, baby, mm. I love that. Did you know there was a King of the Hill game? 
No. Yeah, there was. <laughs> Not a lot of people know about it because it was super boring. Well, yeah, well, as it should be. <laughs> it was a it was a Windows ninety five game, I believe. <laughs> yeah. You just sat at a desk. Sell propane. Sell propane. Oh man, that'd be great, wouldn't it? A propane, a propane selling simulator. It's not King of the Hill branded. And what's her name? Just keep trying to have an affair with you, and you can only say no. You can't actually do it. You can't you, make break you, Hank Hill break who he is. You get a dialogue option, and it's like, do you remember those like 1990s internet pranks where you'd send someone a link, and like they go to try to click on it, and it moves out of the way? Uh, yep. Yeah, it just does that. Boomhauer shows up. Come on, Hank. Let's go take off a little bit early. Only option is <laughs> no. I have to stay till I'm done at work. Me, you me, and, me and Tanaka ain't done making these kids' arms big, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope hmm. Boomhauer, after the show ended, I hope he got a job at SNK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. You want to? What do you want to do? You want to take a call? You want to close this out? What do you want to do? I can take one call. You take one call. All right, let's do it. All right, first and potentially only call is from 562. I think it, I think we've got a Terrified Michelle call. Hey, hi, Tap Pop. This is Terrified Michelle. You already know that. So, here's the thing. Fucking slow down, Micro yeah. Machines, man. What you got, <laughs> how much shit you got to say in this call? All right, okay, here we go. about Harrison Ford, while I love him, I'm sorry, Tyler. I do hate that he is so like acting like, why didn't he just quit? You could have done that. I mean, yeah, you fell into it. But you got money. Just go in the carpentry. Do it. Um, but uh, he plays a lot of very rapey characters. Uh, Harrison-, Harrison Ford played a lot of rapey characters? Yeah, I've always said that. Y- you've always said that? Yeah. Yeah. Like that-, that dude is a rape incarnate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling we're about to hear what rapey characters he played. <laughs> Maybe I haven't seen a lot of Harrison Ford movies. Oh, yeah, no. He plays that uh, rapist who is also the archaeologist. <laughs> uh, he plays that rapist. Oh, you mean Indiana Bones? That, sh- <laughs> <laughs> that rapist who smuggles on those ships and he's smuggling like underage pussy that he just oh, takes right. advantage of. Hand solo. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Handsy solo. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Uh, he plays where he's. Um, He's hunting people to rape them. <coughs> Those sex robots in that one, that one, uh, that one futuristic movie. A uh, Blade Raper. The Blade Raper. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think it was Rape Runner. Uh, rape Runner. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was Rape Runner. My bad. All right, the call continues. Ford definitely plays a lot of like Indiana Jones. Uh huh. Rapes a person in one of the movies. What? Uh, when? But- was it was it short round? <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> Let me give you my short round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I got to rewatch that, I guess. Blade Runner. Hate that movie. Boring as shit. Do- Sorry, I think you mean Rape Runner. <laughs> <laughs> like the sequel. Also raped someone in the first Blade Runner. Really? I missed that, I think. Man, time for you to rewatch these movies, man. I've been telling you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Why are you watching all those snuff films? <laughs> Sure, it was back in the day, and it was like, no, she really wanted it. No, I'm not, back in my day when rape was cool. <laughs> I'm not even making that argument. My argument is, what? <laughs> I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, uh, Han Solo, Han Solo, love that guy. See, he, I told you, I named all these movies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want to know who he rapes in The Fugitive. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> He didn't kill his wife, Tyler. <laughs> but he killed someone else, maybe. He never, he never specifies. The federal justice system. He <laughs> rapes in the ass. Rape anybody is very forceful. I'm just saying, there's a problem here with Harrison Ford's most famous roles. They're all very forceful or rapey. That's just not cool. So, I'm just saying, it's okay if Tyler hates Harrison Ford, since he plays a lot of roles that, while maybe... Fam- more like Harrison Bored, am I right? <laughs> I haven't seen the dude rape a guy in a minute. <laughs> not good. Not good. Not good. I, I tried calling you this morning because I was on the way to work and I had to poop and I thought, this is a great time to call Tap Out, uh, but it didn't work. Nice. Or you might have a, a voicemail with me saying, Tap Out! Tap Out! Tap Out! <laughs> I am not sure. Was uh, that was that you pooping? <laughs> Ted Fox! Ted Fox! Ted Fox! Some people grunt. All Other right. people yell Ted Fox. All right, now I'm going to talk about rape. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, now that that cheese block is out. <laughs> Harrison Ford. Top ten reasons I don't like him. Right, 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 right. Forceful. Um, to weigh in on the circumcision debate, you'll already have your kids by this time. Oh yes. Um, uh, circumcision is whatever. No, uh, girls don't care. Uh, only guys do. Ah, uh, uh, Melissa cared. <laughs> So it's probably just up to Tyler. Um, but like, if your kid, if you know your kid's gonna be clean, then you're fine. Don't, no, you don't no, uh, uh-uh. uh, no. Got like, I'm raising a little pig pen. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Taken out of our hands. Medically, he needed to be one to increase it, decrease his UTI chances. Yeah, it's too late for me. It. I don't know. I can when I go home tonight, I'll wake Henry up because he'll be in bed. I'll be like, Hey, buddy. Cut your penis. Scissors. And cut your penis. Let me cut the end off. Let's cut your penis. This is old daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Old Testament new daddy. New daddy would have just done it. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's what new daddy does for a living. That's how he makes that New dollar. daddy has a, uh, a cigar cutter. He would just come in here. To- <laughs> <laughs> he has a very successful circumcision practice. <laughs> if you know your kid's not going to be clean, then you should circumcise them. Mm-mm. Best thing my mother ever did was circumcise my brother when he was a baby. Because that guy is not clean. That would have been a horrible, horrible situation. But now he has to like work extra hard to masturbate. Did you think about that mm-hmm. though? <laughs> yeah. Whenever, whenever I first saw Jack, I was like, oh, now we got to circumcise him. That's kid. They're gonna call him Dirty Sack Jack. <laughs> He's just gonna just dirty his penis. I can tell, man. But you can't take. Not, I'm already saying now. Melissa, you, do you want to wash him? No, fuck that. Like, yeah, nah, me fuck either. It. No, no, no. Dirty kid. Circumcise him. <laughs> then he'll never have to have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just for breeze them down every yeah, now and then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else do you do when you get dirty? Just make dick cheese. That's all you do. You don't remember anything else? Sell it on Etsy or Facebook Live. <laughs> dirty Sack Jacks <laughs> dick cheese. <laughs> We're running to buy one, get one. <laughs> don't have to worry about that. Also, yes, people who go to prison do play D&D. My brother has been to prison. And make King of Monsters too. <laughs> not um, he met Harrison you know, Ford not, there. He raped him. <laughs> raped him for sure. Jail. <laughs> yeah, that's like when I, you know how like sometimes a celebrity will just like make a make a have a performance at a prison, a la uh, <laughs> Johnny Cash, who I almost said Johnny Cage, which is why I laughed. Sure, Johnny, the, Johnny Cage, you go to prisons too. <laughs> Remember that time Johnny Cage went to prison, like did the splits and punch a whole bunch of guys in the balls. <laughs> And then Goro showed up and broke his sunglasses, and you found out how much he pays for sunglasses. Uh, five, but he's been to prison, and he learned how to play D&D there and become a dungeon master. Um, he just makes stupid things. But we won't tell you his lesson. Anyway, that's all. I don't think I have any questions. Um, so, say bye. Love you guys! Oh, wait, can I have on your nickname? Terrifying Michelle's great, but maybe I would like... Um... No. <laughs> no new nickname. How about Harrison Ford? No Harrison. <laughs> not even. T- not even Michelle. Nothing. Just Harrison Ford. It's just Harrison Ford. Rapist and Ford. Michelle. <laughs> Rapist and Ford. Harrison rape Michelle. <laughs> Rapist and rape. <laughs> All right. For the record, we don't condone rape. All right. There we go. <laughs> nope. We're done. Okay. Even when it's done by Harrison Ford. Even. Mm, okay. All right. I'll John Turley might, but I don't. <laughs> Want me to get John Turley on the line? Please. All right. You find out tomorrow Harrison Ford is a horrible serial rapist. Are you still his fan? Do you still watch his movies? Tell us, John Turley. He goes full Cosby tomorrow. He's not going to pick up. It's too late. Yeah. If he does pick up, he's going to be really quiet because everyone's asleep and we're going to be talking about Harrison Ford raping people. (laughs) Your call has been forwarded uh, damn. automatic voice message system. Two. Se- okay, gonna end that. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. I was gonna leave him a voicemail. Good call. Yeah, I can't do that though. But I'm too lazy to edit, so I'm just gonna end that call. <laughs> All right. Well, let's bring it. That was a pretty good one call. All right. Like Harrison Ford, I'm feeling frantic. <laughs> <laughs> like Sting, I'm tantric. <laughs> Man, we are friends, aren't we? <laughs> we sure are. We sure are white friends in our thirties. <laughs> I say on our podcast <laughs> about video games. <laughs> All right. Oh man. 
Thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, and YouTube, Google Play, Tadbog.com. Uh, just search for us online. You'll find us. Yeah, it's fine. You're far out there. We're on Twitch, kind of, sort of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> missed, two, missed two churches this month. Mm-mm. That's it's all right. right. It's all right. It's okay. Vegas Steaks, baby. The rest. Coming back. Oh, Vegas yeah. Steaks. Vengeance. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Gonna be a nice return stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants who wants to explain blackjack to me? Is essentially how that stream's gonna Josh go. Josh Edwards is gonna be all about <laughs> this. All about this. Actually, it's probably gonna be more craps, man. I'll save it for that episode. <laughs> I'll tell all my casino experiences all on right. that episode, and I'll leave nothing for the Caesar's Palace episode. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We'll just bring Taryn on. Her and Banjo talk about fucking in a casino. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> um. Hey, do you like this? You want to send us a package like Chris Murray did? And you send yeah. it to Tag Ball Studios, Kerb Nicole and Anspeed Box, 37852, Kentucky, 42002. Do you want to leave us a call uh-huh, like, like Harrison Ford did? did? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> do. Harry Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, if you do, give us a call at 270-883-2555. Mm-hmm. It can be about whatever. It can be about whatever. Mm-hmm. About whatever. You know, leave us a review. Hey, you do that on iTunes. You do that on Stitcher. You can do that on shirts.tapog.com. <laughs> Review them you shirts. You technically can, yeah. Because yes. there are shirts there if you want a shirt. Tadpog shirt. We got plenty. We got good shirts on there. Got that good, good, good. Jonathan Wilson shirt on Fuck there. Yeah. The Tad Dogs. Oh, uh, what else do we do? Tadpog underscore podcast on Instagram, on Twitter. Mm hmm. That's it. That's, we got that page. That. And most importantly, we got that Patreon. We do have a Patreon. Uh, hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey, 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 brother. Hey. Well, sorry, let me do it. Can uh, think about it. Hey, hey. Got any gum? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you don't have any gum, you can also donate on Patreon, patreon.com slash tadbog. Uh, I'd like to thank a few people, so sit right there. Uh, these folks uh, have donated recently. How you like that rhyme? Uh, I'd like to thank Nolan Clemens for upping his donation a penny. <laughs> Riding that penny train. Thank you very much. And also, pot- potentially, I don't know, Tyler, if you followed the Patreon drama, uh, potentially Grim 1383. So potentially, also, potentially. Okay. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. <laughs> Grim, Grim went wild and then not wild and then removed the pledge and then I think maybe donated again. They went, I don't know. They went mild and then went, went wild. Yeah, <laughs> right. So I don't know. But hey, Grim, you thought about us at least. Yep. You at least thought about giving us a dollar. <laughs> 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 so thanks. <laughs> um, um, our theme song is moved. Let's take more driving with that track on the show at tapbug.com. Hey, you want to close this but not Dave? Like our favorite monster. Okay. Giant monster. Our favorite. Giant monster. Giant monster. Okay. So until next time. Oh, uh, tropical. Tropical Capricorn. Capricorn. I was Paul Bunyan. Who were you? I was that guy from The Cure whenever he gets <laughs> enlarged in that episode of South Park. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Hope you're okay with second. That's what my shirt said. Yeah. What's that from? The go-kart. Place in Louisville. Oh, Blue vest okay. carding. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Free shirt. Sweet. <laughs> so I wear, it, I wear it to work out and come <laughs> here. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good place to wear a free shirt. I should say I, I wore it to work out. <laughs> now I just wear it to come here. <laughs> I need to get back to the gym.